Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to Gateway of the Savage Frontier. Um, yeah, we are in the dungeons under the Hostower, and we're searching for a statuette. We just picked up a... A new magic user. I'm following the left hand wall through these dungeons and getting nowhere. A large pile of trash in one corner of the room suddenly springs to life and reveals several armed figures advancing to attack the party. Turn an undead. Uh, that's why I hate mages so much. Dude's just spamming cold person on undead. I don't need any of that. For that matter, didn't... Did I? I don't think I had anything there I need to search for. This room is very dark, but you can hear something moving. Turn on dead. Nice magic missile there. And now you just just charge them. Sure, why not? At what point do you get like I know theoretically in this series you can start taking control of NPCs, especially if you have a paladin. At least that's what I've heard. But I have yet to encounter the game where that works. I'm kind of randomly going through this because I don't. Three large cats with tentacles growing from their backs... Stop only to bear their fangs and growl at you before leaping to the attack. Displacer beasts? Oh no! Hmm. I'm gonna do magic missile on these. Take this one down, thank you. No treasure found. Fix the party. Memorize all them spells back. Thank you very much. Oh, we had charm. First, he was, he was spamming hold and charm on the undead. Brilliant AI. This is like a amazing. Oh my god! Brinchar stops at the doorway. You cannot leave. The statuette of the east must be secured. Or the host tower wizard will commit great evil with his power. I will stay. That's a one-way door. That means I got to go all the way back. Okay. Um this sucks.
I don't know that uh, this doesn't have. This is terrible. It's a maze. Go through this one? No, this just goes to here. That goes back. Goes onward. Didn't try this way. Yes, I did. No! Whoever designed this needs to be flayed. What the hell? Here we go. In here. In here. Brinchard stops at the doorway. I will stay. Oh my god. So that goes Okay, that goes back to where we began. No sooner does the party enter this room than you hear a deafening roar. Manticores! Oh crap, Ophelia's getting hammered. I mean, that's not a great way of putting it, but... Right, you're gonna bring a fireball to the table? Delay. There's just the three of them, right? Just trying to take these down.
I'm gonna go ahead and pop a magic missile on one of these. This one. It's got well within one shot territory. Drop another magic missile. This time we're gonna drop it on this one. And do another magic missile. And that's it. All right. Nice amount of gold. Fix the party. Nice. I don't want to go this way. I think this just leads back to the beginning. Ah. Oh. All the way back to the beginning. Man, this place sucks. See, I, I, that way leads back to the entrance. So, here we go. This, there was one straight across. Two men enter the far side of the room, just as the party steps through the door with a huge black cat held by chains. See you, they release the chains from the animal's neck. Alright, they're not mages. I did not mean to end. I should have just... Well, Ophelia just got tagged. Delay, delay, delay. I'm gonna cast a fireball just to soften things up a little bit.
Gonna cast the whole person on these two. You first, and then you. One of them's held, that's all that matters. Alright, this fight's over. Alright, time to get that money. Marie will take the arrows. And then Charity will take the plate. Arcadius will take the longos. Memorize my spells back. This has got to be it because the other one leads back. Entering the room, you find two men feeding a large winged lion-like monster. Look, one man says, you'll have fresh meat this day after all. Enter the manticore. Oh my god, why would you run up there, Brinchar? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm overburdened. Drop a whole purse on you, and one on you. There we go. Home free. Melee kill. Good old, good old wizards getting their hands dirty from time to time. Take the money. And we will take some of these items. Some arrows. And some longbows. And some plate mail. Fix the party. Get our fireballs back. bash this door. You burst into the room and find several men who are standing in open awe of the glowing statuette. One, who appears to be the leader, is dressed in the rich robes of a magic user. The men draw their weapons and run to the attack. I didn't get to save before I came in here. Alright, well, I did win some degree of... Uh, I was going to say roulette initiative, but they disrupted me. Oh my god. They are just wailing on Bridger. Delay. I'm gonna cast whole person. And I'm gonna cast uh, fireball. Alright. This one's casting. He's literally the only mage. So I will target you. Target you. 
I'll target you. Two fighters held, nice. And the mage held, yes. Eat that spell, okay. Here we go. Oh crap, I caught Marie. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just burn a whole person because I know I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rest after this anyway, right? Yeah, that manticore can surrender. You gonna mage melee kill this thing? No, I didn't want it to detect magic. There we go. Don't want to continue that battle. I will take the money. I'll take the money. Oh my god, can I take the money, please? Alright, and I will take the items. I will take the bracers. They are magical. And you know what, Kravish? You need more ammo. And for that matter... will overload everybody. The party approaches the glowing statuette, a white hot flame suspended in midair over a triangular base. Charity passes a hand across his top and says, It didn't burn me. I think it's safe to take it. The party takes the statuette of the East, and Brinshar says, My job here is done, for the statue of the East has been res rescued. May I see you all again in happier times. He leaves via the door before you can thank him. So we got the first part of our quest here done. Only what, like three more of these things to go? Alright, time to head back. I know that eventually this just takes me out. I mean, it takes me out, right? The party steps into a tiny room. The door clicks shut behind you. Alright, this just... Oh my god, this just sent me back here. Damn it.
party prepares to leave the host tower, but are surprised by a familiar face, framed by two great cats. It was most convenient of you to acquire the statuette for me, Brinchar says, laughing. It has been for trying to steal it that I had been in prison before you rescued me. Seems you're always doing me favors. It's a pity such fine folk as you have so little time left to live your good and petty lives. Did you just watch me, like, completely wreck entire rooms worth of these things? While you, well, I guess you were busy, like, bum-rushing everything. I didn't mean to turn undead. What the hell? There's three of them. Well, two of them. Let's just magic missile something. It's like he didn't... Like, he was with me while I was just wiping these guys out, right? Did he have his eyes closed or something? Crossing a bridge that connects two islands? Okay. Um, let's rest. Actually, let's sell this stuff first. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's sell what we can. Identify that. AC6 bracer, I'm gonna wear that. Give me some money. Oh. I'm going to pull the gold, and I'm going to buy like one more oil or something. I don't have oil. Um, I'm going to buy like some darts. And then we can take all of the money. It's going to be way more than... Now I've finally got money. Now I've got the money from... Uh, from that. Now I feel like... I should head back to Neverwinter to train everybody. Because I don't think there's a trainer in Luskin. I don't know that there's one on the islands or whatever. Now from what I understand... Oh, that's them. The guards shout, leaving towards you. They have the statue. Get them. Like, again, seriously, good dudes? I just cleared your host tower. Oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't memorize stuff. Give me a moment. I'm gonna hold person on these. You, you, and you. And you get to hold you. Okay. A little bit better. Let's 
Start whittling these margoils down a little bit. Gonna be here all day just whiffing on this thing. Nice damage. That's that sword, sword of stone cutting, I guess. Don't need to contain, continue that battle. Don't need that stuff. I'm crossing a river. Dealing with hot. With hot goblins. Yes, let's enter Neverwinter. The city, however, seems different than you remember from your travels here several years ago. Oh, wait, uh, that's just the. I thought you meant from, like, just the other night. Okay, hold on. First of all, Hall of Training. Let's train Zemi. Let's train Victor. Let's train Marie. Let's train Marie. Let's train Arcadius. Oh, God. I'm going to take haste. Let's train Ophelia. Again, I'm going to take haste. And you know what? Let's even train Krevish. Or not. Never mind. Alright. On that note... Yeah, let's... Uh, let's get our spells memorized. They're gonna memorize whole person. Gonna memorize Yeah, whole person. Gonna memorize Magic Missile and then two fireballs. Same here. I'm going to fix the party. And then you know what? I think I'm actually going to wrap it up here. And next time, I believe there's another island. Not at, uh, not Turin, but the other one past Turin that I can get to where I need to go next. I'll, I'll take a look, make sure that's where I need to go. Anyway, for now, it's been the RPG Crawler with Gateway to the Savage Frontier. Until next time, take care and goodbye. And if you are still watching, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my supporters, the top tiers of which are listed on the screen, without whose support I would not have been able to offer the variety of content that I have on this channel throughout the years. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to join them, you can support the channel. Uh, there are a variety of options to do so. I have a Patreon, a Subscribestar, as well as channel memberships enabled. If you are not in a position to contribute, simply leaving a like, a comment, or sharing my videos are all wonderful ways to help the channel grow without spending a dime, and are all greatly appreciated.